My name is Dr. Colin Swenson, and I'm an assistant professor at Emory University in Atlanta, where I also run the non-tuberculous mycobacterial lung disease clinic and the non-CF bronchiectasis clinic. I'm here today to talk to you about non-tuberculous mycobacterial lung disease, which is a rare and serious lung condition that's caused by bacteria found in soil and water. Many of us are exposed to this particular bacteria, but not all of us develop the disease. There are several types of NTM bacteria. The most common, though, is called Mycobacterium avium complex, or MAC. Now, as I mentioned, everyone encounters NTM bacteria, but most people never become sick with the disease. There are certain people, though, who have a higher risk factor for developing the disease. These are people living with chronic lung conditions like COPD or bronchiectasis. There are common symptoms of this disease. They typically include cough and shortness of breath. Now you can imagine that it's hard to diagnose NTM lung disease because these symptoms resemble other lung diseases like COPD and bronchiectasis. There are some symptoms that are slightly more distinguishable, such as extreme fatigue, also night sweats, coughing up blood, and unexpected weight loss. Now, if I suspect NTM lung disease as a clinician, I like to follow the NTM lung disease clinical treatment guidelines that were published in 2020. These guidelines include steps for me to review the patient's medical history, conduct a chest x-ray or CAT scan, and collect sputum samples. Now, during the initial appointment, I will typically review the patient's medical history. I'll ask about new or worsening symptoms during the appointment, and of course I will do a physical examination. I may recommend pulmonary function testing to rule out other potential causes of symptoms and also to see if the NTM lung disease has caused deterioration of the lung function. The way we test for NTM, however, is through sputum cultures. Now the sputum culture test detects and identifies bacteria, including NTM, but also some other bacteria that can be found in the airways. Now, how the sputum test works, I tell the patient to cough up as much sputum or phlegm or mucus from the lower airways as possible, and we send this to the lab for further testing. Some patients, despite our best efforts, just don't produce much sputum, in which case a bronchoscopy may also be needed. If you are diagnosed with NTM lung disease, the first thing to realize is that the treatment plan is going to be personalized to you. Consider finding a provider who specializes in NTM lung disease, and typically these will either be pulmonologists or infectious disease doctors with a history of treating this type of infection. Living with chronic lung disease, like NTM lung disease, can be extremely challenging. The American Lung Association has resources available on diagnostic tests, treatment options, and access to support groups, and more. Start your search today at lung.org ntm.